Welcome back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Nigel Knows. Y'all listen. Yeah. Life has been busy, but it's been good. We've been growing in every way possible. And we finally had some time to sit down and talk a little bit. We're just going (laughs) to chit chat. We're not talking about anything specific. We're just going to let the conversation flow how it flows. Y'all know how we do. So we have the beautiful Felicia. (laughs) And the beautiful Tori. (laughs) (laughs) And there's me, the guy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> back, back in the yeah. building, and yeah, we're just uh, gonna like kind of catch up a little bit. The last episode, I think I posted when I checked it the other day, was like September. Oh wow! Mm, okay. Posted, so that mm. means you know late August, September, since we um, you know recorded because I think we split that one in two. I don't remember. Either way, that's been what six months. Oh, man. So that's April, more than six months. So, um, what's been going on, ladies? First of all, first of all, if y'all have seen our other videos, if you're hearing us and you can't really see it, go watch us on YouTube. But you can see we all part of the live life. Yeah, you see us shaking the box. Yeah, okay, okay. Lot gang, lot gang, lot gang. All oh, part of the eight. What's the one thing? A black girl in her life. So, yeah. Why didn't I do this sooner? <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This I is think actually we all my. I've with the idea for years. Yeah. Oh, a yeah. long time. This is my second. Right. I had them and then I combed them out and then I did the smaller ones. So, I'm looking kind of crazy right now. But. Yeah, I love it. Keep her hands out of her head. You know, I like hair play. I like to play. So. Yes, I love it. I love it. And I went thick, thicker. And I yes, love that. Nice. I did like the instant locks, the crochet, mm-hmm. and they're growing like crazy. And I'm like, I'm wait, like wait till they get to my shoulders. Listen, okay. you're gonna be you over. No, yeah, what you uh, said? Anything? What you said? Nothing. Every, right. Every, say. every time I talk, I'm gonna be like, "So, <laughs> thank you so much for joining the meeting today, everybody at work." <laughs> uh, today, we're gonna talk about these numbers. Um, excuse me, my my hair is just. Oh, so it's all my hair. It's yeah. just it's, it's the way. <laughs> It will be just a problem, yes. but that's okay. That's what they're for. It's yeah, it's exactly. so nice. I, like the the maintenance on them is like so wonderful and simple, and like especially for going to the gym and stuff. Like it is just it's it's a miracle to mm-hmm. be just cute twenty four seven. Like mm-hmm. I'm here. I, I, Not I have to worry it. about it. <laughs> So um that's one thing we all part of lock life. What else been going on with y'all? Like let the people know. I mean, I know. A lot. A lot. A lot. I'm gonna have a high school graduate next month. Yay! Yeah. I know, right, Tori? Right? It's I'm exciting. So yeah, May 17th, Tori. If you want to come, let me know and I'll get you a ticket. May 17th. She's an adult now. <laughs> She'll be 19 this year. Oh my right? goodness, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. 19. Oh. Miss Maya is just growing up to be just a beautiful young lady with a yeah. mind of her own. Yeah, for so sure. We've been doing prom. Well, we did homecoming, now prom, graduation. Just It's been crazy. It's been, Does but she it's have been, any post school plans? Or is she going to take uh, a break? She, she's getting a job initial okay. she's gonna get a job because i got her a car and she's gonna have to help with these car payments number one and the Absolutely. car insurance because if, if you guys don't already know she was in a car accident um maybe a month after i got her the car nobody was hurt it was a parking lot accident nobody was in the other car but now my car insurance is going up over a hundred dollars so yeah. she's gonna help out with that but she is going to do a trade 
so she okay, can good. figure out. That's so, awesome. so she can just figure out something, go directly into it, and don't have to do that other bull crap. So honestly, I feel like college was definitely oversold to us in our in our generation. And I mean, at some point, you know, obviously having education is never a a a bad thing. But I feel like at this no. point now, if you're gonna go to college. Really, it should be for something like so, like the specific stuff that you really mm-hmm. do need a formal education for. Yeah. Uh, to be a doctor, yes, please go to college. Or a lawyer, be, or or a lawyer, or a lawyer, right. or you know things, you know things of that nature, an engineer or something yeah. like that. Yeah, definitely, you know, go to college if that's what you want to be. But if you, I feel like if you are not quite sure, or if what you want to do is something that you can learn by experience only figure out how to get it by experience like mm-hmm. right I you know Absolutely. like you save yourself so much time and money you know yeah. yes. just jumping right into it because even when you do get the degree you don't even get the right job because you don't yeah. have any experience but all your experience was in college and it's such a mm-hmm. weird cyclical thing so to just go get a trade and just go ahead and, and start getting that experience is awesome like I, I definitely yeah, I, I went through wrong. a whole thing with her I literally listed out like if she was making minimum wage um I think I did $16 an hour $20 an hour $25 an hour listed all of her expenses listed out the colleges that she went to in-state college out-of-state college tuition mm-hmm. room and board the meal plan I did all of that so she could see like physically see it in front of her like this yeah. is what we're looking at. So now that we have this information, let's make an educated decision. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah, that's definitely um, the way to go for sure. Um, I guess my little update, Joseph is in school. Yeah. He's finishing up his first Yay. year. So this is his yeah. spring semester. Um, he's sticking with the engineering. I was like, math, man, yeah. and math, but Hey, listen, I, if you want to do it, I mean, there's no way no, I would tell him he shouldn't. Him do it. So, exactly. Um, he's been doing we'll get really you a professional well. tutor. Right, exactly. Yeah. Me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been doing really well, and um, he got invited to the Honors Society, whatever it's oh, called. Really? And, yeah, and to join the Honors College, and which would give him more opportunities, you know, for scholarships and study mm-hmm. abroad, you know, all different types of act, uh, other things. So, uh, I'm proud of my baby. You know, I was yeah. worried. Like, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do? Yeah. But he, yeah, he Joseph. figured it out and he's doing it with little to no help from me. But so. can I just say, you gave him that space and time to do that, where I feel like there's a lot of moms that'll, and parents, not just moms, but parents either way that'll that like put so much like specified education mm-hmm. expectations on their kids to like because that was their timing. Like, well, I did it this fast, so you need to do it this fast. And I feel like you did a really good job as a mom to give Joseph that space to really think about what he wanted to do and gave yeah. him in, in his own time. And I think that that's going to serve him so well. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And I, my, my biggest thing was, you know, you got to do something, number one. But you know, I don't want you to be in a rush to leave because it's hard out here. It's expensive. Life is crazy. And at least while I'm here and able to at least provide the housing and all that so that when you do step out, you're stepping on solid, sure footing. That's my yeah. thing. I don't want you to have to come back. Once you go, I want you to be gone. You know right. what I'm saying? Because that's what I did. I left, came back, left, came. You know, I don't want to have to do that. Mm-hmm. Stay here while you can. It's Save whatever fine. money, job, whatever you need to do. And then when you out there, you'll be out there, you'll be good. And, you know, you can right. just come back for visits. And to come right. back to your short little visits. brother. Right. 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 You, short visits. Okay. You and me. Your mic your is breaking going. up. Yeah, your mic again. It's going in I and out. She can stay as long as she Clicking. Yeah, say it again. She can stay as long as she wants. Yeah, it's clicking though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's um, going to work. Whatever you did before, that should work. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's it's been good. And I mean, outside of that, job wise, you know, career wise, things have been going well, you know, looking to that, you know, some new opportunities. And uh yeah, 
I, life has been really, you know what else? You know what else since last time? We all had a birthday. Hello. We all had a birthday. Felicia, you yeah. turned 50. All right, y'all. We had a slight We're back. difficulty. We're back. All right, Felicia, what did you say now? I said I will be 40 this year. So I, when I birthday last year, I turned 39. All right, turned 39. And 35. Before he turned 35 and I turned the big 40. Yeah. Y'all listen, when it was coming up like a month before, I was getting like anxiety, like, dang girl, like for real. <laughs> no. You got to be really 40. Know. Like really? I was talking to some older women at work and stuff, like, did y'all experience this? Cause I'm having like like real anxiety. Like, oh my God. Like, yo, you about to be 40 for real. You need to get your life together. What are you doing? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I still don't feel like an adult. <laughs> like, when does this happen? Like, like, right like, 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 oh, no. like, you've been in this happen? mind for all this time. Get it together. But, you know, okay. as it got closer, and um, also, you know, the birthday trip uh, to Columbia with six of us, Tori was one of those people. Um, and, you know, as it got closer, I felt a little bit better and started to embrace it, you know, and the trip was just everything it was what i needed number one to get away but just the whole experience of course the people um that went on the trip but also just the environment being in columbia and seeing something different and just being around just i didn't realize how much i needed it until we came back i was like mm -hmm. dang i really needed that and right. tori and them they got me i was crying so I was Look ugly, everything. <laughs> it's okay. We had I had drops. I had like the little little red removal lumify drop. Hashtag lumify if you want to, you know, support me. I use y'all all the time. But it, you know, like they work, and it was help. It was it was such a beautiful trip, and it was so nice to see a country and hear the way that they speak of themselves outside of the persona that like U.S. media has given them. Like it was right. so different it was so cool and the food mm -hmm. was simple but like good, good. yeah the good. air and bb like, host air and b b and b there we go host she like cooked breakfast for us and made us okay. coffee every morning like mm -hmm. it was just a good experience um all together yeah. just really a much needed trip um i will say the people were uh, just small observation for myself the people you know, juxtaposed to what we would think of Colombians here in the U.S., uh, I felt like they were also like small, and maybe it's just because we're all so tall. Well, I'm tall. You're tall. <laughs> and, uh, I'll, I'll take maybe maybe I recant that statement, but like they just everybody felt so small. And then we saw like remember we saw like the indigenous like. Colombians from the mm -hmm. mountain, like the Spaniard esque Colombians was it was almost like the 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 the, the, the like sad puppy dog commercials and they had like these like little miniature like mountain people that were like natives and the in the like the Colombians were like you too for just pennies a day can support the natural people. Yeah. You know, and like, they just had them like on display. The... Yeah, oh, which wow. that felt really weird to me. Like I get it. Weird. Obviously you really want to support people, but the tour guide on the walking tour at the end, he walks us up to like, oh, these are the indigenous people and look at their necklaces and why don't you buy from them? It really helps them. To, and it just felt very, you like, know, starving African babyish, which I was yeah. comfortable with. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't like that either. <laughs> and then I did ask because they were like extremely small, like all of them. All yeah, of them were they like were. they were like pygmy people. And I and and I and I'm so sorry if I sound if that sounds like they were so small. And I asked, I was like, are they all like this small? And the way that he answered kind of made sense because they are indigenous to like the high altitude and the mountains, like things that are mm -hmm. typically up high tend to be smaller. Mm -hmm. And the more, and if you're down lower, the more oxygen you get, the bigger you as a species tends to be if that's where you, and I was like, oh, okay. And that kind of makes sense to be, you know, so, but whatever, but it was just very like, uh, yeah, it was very weird. Really? So did I have yeah. a lack of oxygen? Is that why I'm so short? <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> we figured it out, Felicia. <laughs> but I mean, if we threw you back into the Middle Ages, you'd be an Amazon. You'd be a Ray, the tallest one in the room. Oh, Ray. Right. Oh, the, wow. You'd be the tallest man in the room. So, <laughs> just the wrong time period. That's all. <laughs> you were just born the wrong time. Um, yeah. I'd be, wow. a, I'd be an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> outcast right, the giant test right giant test <laughs> ogres on the loose like just be taller than the castles and just be like looking over the walls like y'all looking good? over the walls like, yeah. <laughs> y'all good in here <laughs> you got any games <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah overall i mean it was definitely a good trip um for sure. I definitely want to go back maybe to a different city, you know, or town next time. But definitely, you know, travel has become like outside of, you know, my regular life, like a, a, my main priority. Like I want to go places That's and see people and see things. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's it's been a good time. 2022, you know, everything wasn't perfect, but, you know, it is what it is. It was I just overall, I made it, you know, I'm right. still here. Right. <laughs> they did. Um, they did. One thing I did want to see. Okay, y'all saw that um Trump got so called arrested. Okay. He turned himself in. I don't know if he was arrest. Yeah. Like I, I'm, 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 I, I'm, 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 I'm stuttering now. Like I, he has all these indictments, and yeah, hopefully he gets whatever you know anybody other person would get. But I'm just very skeptical of the U.S. justice system and government anyway, just as it is, you know, how it goes for us. I like people. try not but to But it's like, is anything. he going to, he ain't going to jail. It ain't, ain't going to go fine. Like, I, don't know. I feel like yeah. some way it's going to be like a waste of time. It's going to be the same story that we see all the time. It goes I think all the like show he likes- and he just walks away. But he just likes the attention and sometimes I feel like it's just to keep him relevant and in the news mm-hmm. and keep him top of mind. Any any publicity is good publicity and for him, I feel like this was something to keep him from fading into obscurity as like the orange president. Like, how do I stay relevant? How do I keep the hillbillies mad? How do I, you know, I'm going I'm to tell them I'm going to get arrested. I'm going to get them up in arms again. You know, mm-hmm. because I grab for grabbing pussy. You know, like I'm a, I want you know, I'm gonna be arrested <laughs> for it. You know, and it's I just I try not to give it energy because this shit is like it's yeah. it's draining. Yeah. And, and it's at this point too, it seems like there's definitely you know his base that they're gonna be up his butt no matter what. But no I think what. some breaks, you know, you know, from Republican, they're sort of moving on, like you said. Uh, to see who the next person is going to be because Biden I, actually I went to DC a, a couple weeks ago by the way it was fun uh, Biden he looking he looked like he he Somebody ready to go right. sit down somewhere <laughs> like yeah. I just I just feel oh, really bad 80, what, like, 88 89 yeah, yeah 90, I just feel bad there. like he about to like, up up. Out, like he need to go sit down so they need to find he's somebody really tired. Put um, right somebody put his feet up <laughs> go get him, you know. Go get him his Metamucil. And, yeah, I um, feel like he did. Not, I mean, I'm not mad at him. He's still trying yeah, to do no, some, no. some some work. You know, they still run his stuff by him, but you know, maybe might be time. I don't feel like he he spent basically his entire career, you know, as a politician, Absolutely. a senator, yeah. vice president, our president. So you know, he did his his part, you know, right. or whatever that was. Yeah. Yeah. Really dedicated his whole life to it, so yeah. You feel like I would look at some of the, the speeches. Last. Yeah, I'd be looking at him like, hey, somebody just need to let him go sit down. Right. It's time. Sit, 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 pop, pop down. Make him. Right. Make, him. Right. make sit. him sit down. <laughs> sit, pop, pop down. Where's the like when you get on the like the 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 one uh the their the private like presidential jet? They should give him like the little chair. That like attaches and like goes <laughs> up like that. <laughs> so, but instead of like having to climb up there, he just sits and kind of like just rises. Sits and it goes up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, so i mean that's a real sign like you're done sir and you're done mm-hmm. <laughs> you're finished yeah it's, it's, he's gonna put it's, in his time that's all he's not gonna yeah. there's not gonna be another term he just, you know he was just he was mm-hmm. a mediator for sure yeah um uh, so for me what has happened 
Uh, yeah, birthdays. And then I, oh, I, I am in the midst of purchasing my first home. I just said it all the time. I've been holding Yay. on to it. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yes. I'm, I'm already in the home, um, but just working out the details still um, for other people's rushing mistakes, but they are being handled. But in the meantime, I am in the house and I'm loving it. I've always been like team apartment and I still am team apartment. Um, but this, the way this kind of like fell into place, I was like, I can't deny that. And it's giving me everything on my checklist. And it was such a good move. And I'm so, like, happy. I'm definitely in a season of, like, acceptance and growth and abundance and, like, all that good stuff work is going really, really well. I just took on another position, um, just taking steps opportunity-wise. So uh, I I got pulled into, like, a global project that will be, like, the next 10, 15 years. So it's, like, opportunity which is what I'm more so concerned about because um, my job, my current position at my company is great. You know, my team is amazing. I don't move lightly, uh, but it, there's just nowhere to go unless somebody decides to leave or, you know, retire or something like that. And I'm not putting my hands in waiting for somebody's Nima to, to, to retire. So, yeah. This, but this other opportunity is really cool because then I get to use skills that I haven't gotten to use in a really long time and take on some new skills and, you know, go back instead of being like people manager, I get to be, um, do more project management. So I'm just excited. And, the, and it's just things are happy and, you know, working. Um, the dating scene was as I left it. <laughs> <laughs> Because I left it. I like that. I like that. Yo, we gonna talk about that next. <laughs> Go ahead, finish. Finish. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not any different than what I than when I left it the last time I was single. So coming back out here, you know, it, yeah, there was there was exactly. No, there, there was no season of growth. It's still there's a lot of fish in the ocean, but also a lot of plastic and a lot of trash too. So you know just sifting through and you know seeing but still very hopeful and just trying to take like a different approach to it and we can just talk we can talk about that on a, on another conversation for sure but um jumping back in that pool has been interesting and fun yeah. actually because the approach is my approach is different now like yeah. to nikki's point a lot has happened since the last time we recorded and my outlook on how I plan on not how I plan on how I'm allowing people to treat me now and not treat me mm -hmm. and what I'm putting up with and not putting up with stuff that I knew before, but now it's being enforced and yeah. like the benefits of enforcing that <clears throat> has been, has yielded already like amazing results and not doing the same thing. I, I've loaded no apps. I don't know. Bumble tender plenty of none, yeah. none of that I have none of those I was like I'm changing my approach because no I'm tired of that and and I have other things that are more <laughs> important which I realize to worry about and you know if if it works beautiful if it doesn't I'm getting cats and that's also beautiful because cats are amazing so <laughs> yes they are. Happy happy too. Too. <laughs> right yeah, right finding it's... happiness wherever I am and yeah. everything else can kick rocks yeah, that's kind of where I am. What, Felicia? Hmm? We gonna talk about you? Or you want to not <laughs> talk about you? <laughs> well, talk about me as far as me still being in a relationship. Yep, I'm still there. Are we wanting to talk about um, we don't have to say that specific. Or we're not yes, that? revelations. That's what we want. Revelations. Not specifics, revelations. but revelations. I have realized that I have gone through a lot in life, as we all have, right? Mm -hmm. But I got to a point where I realized, well, maybe I'm, e like, emotionally just tapped out. Like, where I am is just what I have to give. Like, I don't think I have anything else to give other than what I'm showing right now. And it, and that's what I, and I was just thinking, too, just listening to you, Tori, I love that about you, how you can just, you, the, the, 
not really. It's carefree, but you can just you you're still able to give it, you know. And I've realized that I, I'm I'm not there, and I don't know if I yeah. will ever be there. No, I you think you will at should. some point. Which we, yes. we talked about it because I'm time, you know time and time very, <laughs> very similar. You know, I recently just you know started sort of dabbling out there in the dating world again myself, you know, over the last few months or whatever. And, you know, that's one thing I definitely, you know, feedback I've gotten is like, yeah, like I can't tell if you like me or not because you're not giving me yes. anything. Yes. And the way I feel is like, to me, if I'm here, because I don't just spend my time with anybody, I love my house, I love my bed, I love my solitude. So if I'm here, to me, that's I want showing that I want to be there. I don't go places I don't want to be. I don't hang around with people that I don't like. That's just not what yes. I do. But I also realize that people need that validation. They need to hear you sometimes verbally or physically show that they you want them around or you're you know having a good yeah. time or whatever. And, and it I'm almost just... feels, but with that, it almost feels like it has to be this big grandos thing. Again, right. going back to what you said, Nika, if I'm here and I'm around you and I'm doing these things, why does it have to be almost like this production? Yeah. And, yeah, I, and I, it I shouldn't just... have to be. That's the thing. It shouldn't have to be. Yeah. I think that that's where that carefree part of me that you're, that you're talking about. It's not so much that it's carefree at this point. It's, this is who I am. You either ride with it or you don't. And if you don't, mm-hmm. that means you're not meant for me. Not that you're a bad person, that, but you're just not meant for me. So why am I going to put out more effort for somebody who is not for me? Mm-hmm. You know, right. If, if, if you, if I can't, basically like confused, mm-hmm. confusion is no for me. Now, if I am unsure whether you want my company or not, I'm just going to interpret that as you don't want my company and I'm going to let you go so you can go find mm-hmm. what you want. You know, I, because I know how I am when I'm excited to be around somebody, you guys, or, you know, if there's someone I'm interested, when I'm interested, you know, because I'm going to be myself, period, no matter what. I'm myself, however I'm feeling that day, wherever I am, however I'm looking, I'm going to be myself. There's no best foot for it. I am, I only got one foot. It, that's it. It's, it's always you are it's always what I got my size yeah, eight right yeah. right it's, it's, it's always gonna that foot's always right. gonna be forward and if that's not your cup of tea that's okay keep going keep you go yeah. find what you want and I'm going to withdraw because there's again there's no time for that there's no t- there's no time for me to put out extra energy and I think that's mm-hmm. where your energy gets wasted is because you're trying to put out extra energy answering questions that have already been answered just not mm-hmm. answered the way you want them to be so you just mm-hmm. have to like just because you're on again you're on empty because you're giving more than what you're giving yourself so at that yeah. point mm-hmm. is nobody sh- nobody can treat you better than you treat yourself and you right. show people how you show you people how you want to be treated exactly. right exactly. how you how you take care of yourself shows people how you want to be treated and if they don't treat you at minimum right. how you treat yourself or better they don't need to be there they're a waste they're an energy drain at that point right and you, I was and talking you get too much long. The, my friend that I went to DC with and, you know, we were talking about relationships a little bit and stuff and, you know, dating or whatever. And one thing that he said, well, he was like, you know, one thing about you, he was giving me really good advice. I was surprised at first. I was like, he's younger than me. And, you know, you just automatically think you're so much younger than me. You don't know. But he was giving me like solid sound advice. But one of the things he said, he was like, one thing I like about you is like, even when you come to work, because somebody I know from work, you dress, you look like you care about yourself. You So that's naturally going to a tra- attract people to you and yeah you should be allowing someone to do for you you know what i'm saying because i was saying yeah, that like exactly. i've been so used to having to be the one to like plan everything yeah. well, let's do this or do you want to the and i just feel like i'm i'm You're done tired. with like i'm tired i'm tired, tired. Yeah, time. like of course we can talk about if we're planning something what we like what we don't like you know something that we'll yeah. both enjoy doing but the whole like putting in all this what i feel is effort to make sure we're spending time and make sure we're talking and I just don't have it in me and it's it, and I enjoy my like I really enjoy my own company like I be in my room laughing my ass off at my own jokes and I be having a good time I put the music on <laughs> right. the music around the house I know I be getting on my boys nerves but right. and I cook I eat what I want I go to the gym spend however much time 
go outside, go sit by the like, and I be having a good time by myself. Right, good and then time. when I am around people with like y'all, with my friends, we have a good, good time. time. So I feel like at this point, I've really worked at, you know, working through my issues and stuff. And I know we've talked about it before. I'm so good with just me that if you're not adding to it or, you know, bringing more then it's just like, and I find myself hard to get like attached to people. Like even just, yeah. oh, I might like hanging out with them or I might enjoy their company. But I do that other attachment that, you know, that you might look for, especially if it's a romantic type relationship, I'm struggling with trying to find where that emotion where that's supposed to be but I don't feel bad about it either because I feel like this is me and whoever yeah. is going to be for me is going to be for me and when the time is right like you just said Tori it's going to happen and I'm not going to stress myself out it or be worried like I've you know me and Felicia talk about it a lot but at the same time I'm just like hey look this is me and that, it is what it is like I'm, I am who I'm I really am good. and who I am not I will never be I'll never be What's exactly. aggravating though is for people, what did I say? To, I was hanging out with some people the other night they were kind of talking something similar, but when I get frustrated at certain people and I was like, you tell me that you came all the way out your way to get in my way to show me some bullshit? Like no one told right. you to go out your way to get in my face to just hand me a fart in, in, in the hand. Mm -hmm. just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's the point? Why? 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 Just you could have left me alone. You could have did right. that in the corner somewhere. You could have went outside with that. Like why waste my time with that? Mm. And and then I was like, well, why would I even entertain something like that? Like why would yeah. I waste my time? Yeah, when I could hang out with either one of you in our bonnets on my couch, knocked out, and be having the best time. I'll be yeah. able to sleep. <laughs> and, I was, you know. uh, and yeah I think we well I think we've all talked about it but I was telling one of y'all both of y'all I feel like I get that satisfaction that companionship uh desire from my friends and my family yeah. you know what I'm saying like I be having a good time we can talk all the time talk or we can just sit there in silence it don't matter to ain't nobody mad about it's it fine. and we don't have to talk every day mm -hmm. We don't have to hang out every day, but what we do, we have a good time. We go eat what we want to eat. And one of the best things about y'all is y'all know when to go home. We ain't got to be out all night. No. We ain't no. Got to be out all night. I'm not trying to close down the club. We ain't got the club. Like, shut the club well, down. Shut the like, all we got to do, we looking like y'all ready to go. You ready? Okay, okay. we don't even have to Let's say nothing. We just look. Right. We look. We, we just nod. Like, All right, uh -huh. just round it up. Time to go. And I well, like, well, you basically, after somebody, as soon as somebody say my feet, you got ten minutes. <laughs> it's Let's not. go. It's ten, it's ten minutes. Woo, my feet. Time All right, countdown. Right. right, we ready. Y'all ready? Finish that drink. We're gonna go. What are we gonna do? Yeah, Nothing. but I I'm like, like get too much like satisfaction from that. That you know, there's obviously, obviously, it's not physical, duh. But you know, that will be the only thing that is missing but even that like I mean, it could be because of age like I don't even really think about it that much like you know what I'm saying like I'm good with it without you know what I'm saying like I don't even need the physical as much either and maybe I'm just saying well, that I because do. I'm not doing it I but say, I do <laughs> I do but, like, but, wait, wait, but to your you point have that one <laughs> Yeah, no, but I do I but just, here's the thing I like get... but that friendship it's the friendship part of it that makes that so important it's like I do want I want to feel as satisfied companion wise as I am with you guys at my friends as I am with somebody who's going to be my significant other I want base level that from them and the other the other fun stuff that should come on top of that like and if you if I don't feel like we can even be just friends this, that it's a waste of time if, yeah. if that's all it is like I want friendship best friend you know physical intimacy emotional intimacy like I want it to be like you know best friendship on steroids with this other person that makes it worth my time because to your point otherwise I get that from you guys you know like right. that, 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 <laughs> that friendship I get that from y'all. So if you're gonna come in and be that person for me, I don't I don't need to be questioning not one thing about whether you enjoy my company or not. Whether, you know, mm -hmm. you're I had somebody like 
test me. Okay. The one person that, like, yeah. So we were like talking, and then he, uh, I was like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. You know, gave him my number, and then he kept talking to me through like Instagram, and I was like. Are you ever and I'm I'm very frank. I'm like, so is you ever gonna use my number or did you not see it? And he was like, Oh, well, you know, I just want to make sure that you know we get to know each other a little more before I give you my phone number. And I was like, What? Well, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like a thing. I was like, he's like, I have to make sure you're okay. And I'm like, Okay, oh, never mind. That, me? I mean I don't have time for that. Don't test me. Something I don't like similar happened. He wasn't testing me, but like we exchanged numbers, but we never actually talked it was like only through like facebook messenger which was weird to me especially his age yeah i can see if he was like your 20s or something that's normal but like dude you're like almost 50 so that was weird to uh, me uh, yeah. i yeah so i didn't know gave up on that a long time ago but um i am finding i will say you know the the men that i have met it's not like they're horrible men or nothing like or anything like that you know what i'm saying it's not like there's even with the whole red flag thing, it's just it's not even like there's a whole bunch of red flags. It's just they may not be for me, and I'm finding that my discernment is like on ten right now. So yes. like I'm sifting through things so quickly. Wait. Um, and even when I haven't, you know, something happened was like, uh, man, you about to act <laughs> stupid. So let me go ahead and put this <laughs> sign in front of you. So you can, I'll be like, oh, 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 okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. <laughs> so that's Oof. happened, you know, that was last year, yeah, y'all know about that. I won't go into details, but um, I'm glad it happened this quickly as it did, because, yeah, it became a whole, it would have become a whole thing. Had yeah, it not. yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you were just privy to the crazy shenanigans that I went through, like, ladies, when your intuition tells you, hell no, walk away, yeah. just just, just, just walk away. There are a lot of bums out here posing as something That's, else, and yeah. it, and and some of them are crazy. And you know, I think if this was if this was me encountering this person years ago, I, I would have, I would have, this would have probably dragged on way longer mm -hmm. than it should have, because I think I would have mistook a lot of those signs as like masculine manliness. And pride, mm -hmm. but immediately, like everything screamed, like just crazy, like egotistical, delusional, um, manipulative. Um, like it was just, it was, it was a lot, and I was just yeah. like, wow, good, wow, okay, <laughs> yeah, no, you, yeah. you got, you got to, you got to go to the point where I had to physically you know doing shit without asking like consent or like permission as if it was something it, it, basically I had to take my hand to somebody's face in a very physical way and like put it into like to put a stop to festivities because he just thought he knew that he could treat me a certain kind of way without the, my consent at all and it was like no, 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 and a lot of like certain. It was, and we thankfully it was only like one official date, and I was like, no, that's never again. And then I was like, okay, well then back to me, back to me, and then come forward to like now. I'd recently had something blindside me, like that I wasn't looking for at all, and that's an interesting development that's happening. You know, well, I'll, I'll update everybody <laughs> later on as it develops, but like this is a rare time when somebody I've met actually like calms my nervous system and my heart rate slows down around this person immediately. Like for as intense as red flags feel in your body, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was such an interesting experience to feel the opposite. Like what an abundance of like green flags look like. Mm -hmm. And having the and you know, you have the coming from everything that we've all gone through. It's like, who are you and who sent you and why are you doing all the things? Did you read my journal? Are you did you sneak in my house and read my shit? Like, let me check these cameras yeah. and see like who's been in here. Like you're like it's very interesting and that's 
cliche to say when you're not looking, you find, you know, good stuff. Yeah. But I think, That's you true. know, just to kind of turn it back around to you, Felicia, when you're feeling like you're on empty and you have nothing left to give other people, don't stop giving shit to other people. Give that, put energy back into yourself and don't worry about other folks. Yeah. You're running on empty, giving what you don't have. You gotta, and no one's giving that back to you, mm -hmm. reciprocating. So that means that you are, and you are always responsible for yourself. We are all responsible yeah. for ourselves at the end of the day. And nobody you know, is responsible no, for me or my happiness. Right. right. And so right. you have to understand that if you, if, if other, if the care of other people in that capacity is draining you, then know that that situation in itself is just not healthy for you. And you, mm -hmm. and that means that it's time for you to start Going back into but yourself. you know if you if you look at like my my whole life like my from my waking until I go to bed it literally consists of me taking other care people. of other people yeah right right yeah you have, yeah. You have to we, figure we, out uh, the time, how it's time for me takes. to go to bed I'm tired like my head hits that pillow and I'm just like emotionally and immense and mentally done yeah mm -hmm. and like, you know we see you and I talk about it yeah you gotta Outside of like your child and your mom, you know, who you take care of, um, you know, because as the, you know, obviously your child is a responsibility there. But outside of that, not the saying you shouldn't give to people. However, like Tori said, if they're not giving back to you, it's not being reciprocated or you're feeling drained each time you have to do for this person. Step back. There's nothing and wrong with I, that because at the end of the day, everybody's responsible, like you said, for themselves. They have to handle their own stuff. And yeah. you trying to put in the labor to do for them, you can't do it. You're one person. You're trying to save them. And you the can't. only people that can save they got to swim on their own. Themselves. Yeah. Yep. That's just where everybody's there. got their own journey. And also it, it also kind of becomes not that you, you're, and I'd say there's not that you are selfish, but I feel like when it comes, because we've all done the saving, you know, have that saving mentality. We've all put on that cape. We're good people. So we've all put on that cape unnecessarily to try and save folks. And to be that savior type is actually, I've learned and read like that's that, that is actually selfish because that level of trying to save other people is not for them. It's for you. So when I tried to, to save a hoe or save, you know, a man that I saw potential in, I did necessary. I did it obviously to, to for him, but I was mo mainly doing it for myself as a way to keep me from focusing on my own shit. I could project mm -hmm. that onto other people and be, you know, and try and figure out how I can get that that hero salute from everybody that actually wasn't going to come because people that let you give like that and who take like that know that they're just going to keep taking until you until you mm -hmm. flatline so right. you're never going to get mm -hmm. that from them even though you deserve it you're not going to get it from them and so you like have to realize that sometimes that level of giving is actually more so self-serving and sometimes it's a cue that it's it's the cue that you need to take that energy and give it back to yourself right what were you going to say that, oh yeah i'm sorry yeah. i don't remember now Oh. I, was gonna... sorry, sorry. I wanted you to like get two your... minutes ago. What? <laughs> what was I going to say two minutes ago? I, I need you to talk. I need you to talk more. All right. Cut, cut me off. <laughs> but, I'll, I'll rant. Yeah. But Felicia, you know, you're a, you know, a beautiful person. So, you know, do Absolutely. for you what you got to do for you. Period. Of course. Of course. And, you know, the person I'm with, is she is a good person. She really is. And these are just realizations I've had, you know, about myself and why I'm, I don't want to say standoffish, but I, I know that door isn't completely open. I'm, it's mm -hmm. still kind of like I'm peeking through the door a little bit. And it is, mm -hmm. trauma's real. And when you think yes, you're healed, absolutely. you're really not. Like, I thought I was all healthy and healed and whole. No, I, I wasn't. That was a lie. That was a facade. And I'm seeing that now. Like, I still have more work to do. Like, you know, you yeah. feel like, you know, I've, I've gotten to the end. No, there's so much more work that needs to be yeah, done. Yeah, and healing isn't like a you know, one-stop shop type of thing. Like, oh, you know, it's here and well. then, okay, I made it. Yeah, that's it, guys. Like, it's literally a daily 
you know, process, a life process. Um, you know, I'm very similar. Felicia and I are almost identical uh, in a lot of ways. <laughs> So some stuff she'd be saying, I'd be like, why? Why? I don't understand like, I, why. Nick, I was like, I don't think we should be giving each other advice. I know. I was like, it's the blind leading the blind. I'm like, y'all, I need y'all to call me. Like, call me, y'all, please. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me talk to y'all. Let me channel what they're trying to tell me to tell you, please. please. You guys, we two emotionless me. people over here trying to help each other. Yeah, trying to figure no. out no. else. Y'all got to, no. Like why y'all are not emotionless uh, y'all are no, y'all are emotionally exhausted is what that is y'all aren't emotionless y'all are emotionally exhausted yeah. and y'all are just tired like yeah. we're all you know, tired and i was um i was saying that yeah i i, I say that i'm emotionless i'm not the fact is i'm very sensitive and not necessarily in a bad way, but I feel, you know, like energy is real. Like if you're feeling yeah. sad, I'm going to be, that's going to make you You're going to feel the other person's energy, make, right? Right. And like with my friends, like if y'all ain't doing good or y'all like uh, got something going on, like I'll be feeling bad, like crap, like I can't do nothing to fix it because I want to just fix it because I want everybody to be happy. Mm -hmm. And I think that I've done that a lot, especially in, you know, relationships to the point where like I've just learned that especially when it wasn't reciprocated that I've just learned like you know what I'm not gonna even allow you to get to that or that side of me because that side of me is very important and I know that side is very giving almost endlessly and then you just try to suck everything out of it and then trying to look at me you know talking to me crazy or looking at me like something's wrong with me when I'm less like you know what no more I cut the faucet off no more than that now I'm crazy now something is wrong with me yeah so I've just learned to like put that wall up and that wall is thick like it's steel brick it's a gate around it there's two guards in the front with shotguns <laughs> and then you know the key that's on the lock on the outside each one of them got a lock right oh. so the key that's on the lock you know the key I put it somewhere I gotta go find it that's how I be feeling like where did I put that key now? I know I'm supposed the to the doorknob is a cactus in this moment but I don't yeah. feel anything <laughs> there's a pit bull out in front of, uh, you know attacking the man you know <laughs> Like, beware of landmines like <laughs> step slightly so like yeah, sometimes it, I feel it bad do I feel bad no. maybe a little bit I can't well but I'm feeling bad you know when people yeah. are you know men specifically are trying to be nice to me and you know I just be feeling like I'm supposed to be like flirty or I'm supposed to be like oh but you don't have it in you I, don't, I can't no I don't have it I can't you, can't you don't know it's it, real right? I just feel like oh thank you yes and that's part of it is like I have major trust issues when it comes to men for a number of different reasons but I just i have always when somebody do something nice and I'll be like thank mm -hmm. you what you want yeah it is right what you want but it's a lot of energy to trust anybody that's a lot that to to open yourself up to be potentially vulnerable or to potential hurt because relationships are always something that you or have the potential to hurt mm -hmm. you to open up and have somebody have the possibility of touching that live wire this shit's scary and sometimes it's just yeah. like and i feel I'm like at this point that wire right if if mm -hmm. i do all that because i know how i am like once i like you like i'm laser focused you know on you and i that's what i put my energy into and i feel like if i do that again and it don't work out, like, I'm a fight. Like, let's just go ahead and put on the box we, and gloves. Those let's pick point. a day and a time and a place, and let's just we fight. Square it up. Hair back in the yes. ponytail. Vaseline on the place. I'm, like, I'm just, just start throwing bows. Yeah. And the unfortunate right. part is, if, you, if you're that person, you'll be getting the wrath of things that had nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? So, and rather exactly. than be, be but wait, wait, flipping wait, wait. out on They're somebody. They're getting the wrath of it now, though. That's the shitty part. They're well, getting the wrath yeah. of it now. You're getting it. Yeah, you're getting it now. That's true, mm -hmm. that's true, that's true, that's true. Mm, see if I like that. I had now. to, I, yeah, I feel like I've changed that narrative. I feel like at this moment, it's like I am no longer giving other people the power to affect who I am as a person. Like, I, I am only going to be myself. And naturally, yeah, I tend to be very loving and giving and supportive, but you know, smarter for sure. You learn the lesson. You know, I'm not as immediately trusting as I used to be, but like, I still trust people to a degree. I, you know, everybody starts off with the 95 and then 
maybe a 90, you know, and then it's up to you to keep your grade. You either keep the grade up or it drops mm -hmm. to zero very quickly. Your actions will tell you which mm -hmm. will tell me which way to go. But if you do something, your behavior has nothing to do with me. That's all on you. Yeah, I may be the reciprocant of that, of the behavior. But again, that's all about you and nothing to do with me. I am no longer internalizing other people's behavior about me. You do not get the power to change my essence uh, as a person. I'm a, you know, we're all good, amazing, unique women. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we deserve great things, but life isn't always fair. We don't always get what we deserve. Mm -hmm. But again, you, uh, no one gets that power to make me anything but myself. You don't get to make me bitter. You don't get to make me angry. You don't get to make me anything other than my joyous, joyful self at all. And if yeah. you are trying to do that, then you can go kick rocks somewhere else. Like, get out my way. I, I'm not giving yeah. anybody that power anymore. You just don't exist to me anymore. That's it. You just, you just got to go. I'm done giving energy to the undeserving. And, I, yeah. and it's been a good mindset to, like, sit in. It's new. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I don't necessarily feel like it's given someone my power. For me, it's like, I, and it, a lot of it I know has to do with age. Um, I don't got a lot of time. And I'm like really starting to realize that. And I don't like my time being wasted. And I don't like wasting other people's time. So like, if you're going to be here, be here. If you're not, go ahead. Like, it's cool. Like, I'm good. I just, okay. I don't, I feel like my time you know, is, is um, closer to the end than I am to the beginning. So it's just like everything that I deal with, any person I deal with, whether it's work, whether it's any type of relationship, it, I, I'm looking at purpose. What is the purpose? Yep. Not just this mm -hmm. very moment. Not the just purpose. the do How is do this? Stuff. Exactly. How is this mm -hmm. fulfilling my purpose or is this fulfilling your purpose? It's just, it's a lot of what my, you know, mindset is when I'm, approaching different things or dealing with different things is purpose that's what keeps me going back to work every day because i'll be like every day i'll be like no i don't need this shit, i don't want to do this shit no I don't I don't do this. <laughs> but when i think about it i up. think about you know where i work you know i've met some amazing people there you know people that went mm -hmm. to columbia with me that have that yes. have become very dear to me and lifelong friends so that's what keeps me motivated. You know what? Yeah, this is a job to get money to pay your bills, take care of your, your family or whatever. But what is the purpose? I feel like my purpose mm -hmm. there was to meet these people and get connected with these people who I have, you know, have been now connected to other people who then connect. You know what I'm saying? And everybody winning it. And I just love it. I feel like, hey, listen, it's my also, it's purpose here has 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 been fulfilled. Like it, I did, I, yes. I did what I was supposed to do. What happened was supposed to happen. Like all these people are like, I just love seeing y'all, all my friend group like win and I see like when we went to Columbia and some you know they hadn't all necessarily met each other before but everybody was getting along it's just like oh well you can do this mm -hmm. oh well, I do that no well, you can do you know and everybody winning right now and I just love it mm -hmm. so it's like when it comes to romance it's purpose you know is the purpose mm -hmm. what is the purpose what is what yours is what are your intentions yeah. what is your purpose what is mine are we going to be just friends that's cool and it might be yeah. just you gave me good advice about something or I gave you good advice about something and that might be it and I've you know finally become okay with that being it. But again, yeah. when it comes to like somebody that I'm going to be connected to for life, like that's I'm, I'm not, not taking that lightly or going to it, going into it Went easily. Lightly. So everybody has to go through a certain screening process, yeah. <laughs> which has become very, very vigorous at this point, <laughs> right? <laughs> and very hard on the other on the other people involved as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we kind of went oh, to the same. Oh, where was your birthday? What's your last name? Where Where were you born? Oh. Right. Okay. That's, okay. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. So my last last year, <laughs> just to give y'all listeners, I'm not gonna go into a bunch of details, but last year, sometime there was a little situation. You know what I'm saying? And once I got that name and the birth, the the birth date, and went the little digging, I got the license. The license number and I went to digging and I found all this stuff like oh okay so what you what, what was that again what happened with that and yeah I'm glad, glad it was over and done very quickly but I feel like had I not done that and had that one certain conversation not happened I probably still would have been like oh it's okay but come to find out once I start talking and digging back the layers you know this big muscular man and you know you start peeling back the layers and you see it's just a little 
a little five-year-old boy that has issues with his mom, abandoned by his mom. He has issues. Like, and that's where yeah. a lot of stuff comes from. Like, oh, wow. Okay. So you are still operating in your, you know, eight-year-old mindset in, in a, a, a number of different ways. Um, but that background is important as well, though. It was a lot. Mm-hmm. And now and you lie. what you realized that wasn't for you to say. You weren't you wasn't oh, no, no, job no, no. to try and save oh. him or support mm-hmm. him into no, his masculine. No, 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 mm-hmm. no, no. We not we're not doing that no more. Like mm-hmm. take nope. take responsibility. Just Been like there, I had just like that. we had to take responsibility to get where we are. And that's another thing too that I stopped. I'm not it's, it's no more, it's no more saving. Like if I am able to get myself in this spot, if I can lead myself here. Imagine what I can do with the man that like can actually lead, like lead, lead, lead me. And I'm a leader. I am a natural leader. And if and if you going if you can lead me, if I take that back, if you can make a hyper independent woman lean on you, you man. special. Man. And I feel like that's the sort of era you and I talked about, uh, Tori, era I'm in right now that like hey listen i if you want to take the rain by all means but show me you can do it or i i have to be mm-hmm. willing to want to give it to you yeah because right. i see all these like you know as of late it could be just because i like i watched the full video so your feed you know starts to feed you certain videos but it's like all these videos of you know black men in particular but not just black men talking about the woman need to do this and oh the traditional woman and none of submissive and y'all not this and y'all not that and it's just like you know listen at the end of the day when you with somebody y'all determine the d- dynamics of your relationship right that's number one exactly. y'all figure out what mm-hmm. works for y'all what works for y'all might not work for somebody else and that's cool if y'all want to be mm-hmm. the she's submissive y'all however y'all want to do that that's cool but for me if you want to talk about leading me somewhere i need to know that you know where you're going like you don't even got your map out you don't even know what you don't know what a map is so why would I be like blindly follow? Explain to me. Well, well yeah. What where, where, where are you? What am I following? Because you have no idea where, where you're going, and that's very clear. So why right. you can't lead I... yourself? Why? What, what, what am I? What? And most of these men that talk about they want like I want a traditional woman, sir. You not no, you even traditional man. Yeah. No, you. If no, you, you, you really don't. wanted traditional woman, you would be the traditional man, and that traditional woman will find you in a hurry. But none of these men that are talking about traditional woman that should do X, Y, and Z are given traditional man. And a lot they of now want to be chased. Then you, you know, know. And it's like no. Yes, like, I was just thinking like you know what this right. you want to be chased like a like a woman you want to be chased. You, right. like, <laughs> like, you, know, like, you want flowers? You want to go buy you some flowers? You know, like I don't know. I don't know. You, you, did, you didn't say good morning this morning. What? what? <laughs> um, do you see all of our all stuff <laughs> You did. It goes both ways. You didn't say good morning either. And last you night, because I was saying you, right? And last night you said you had stuff to do early morning, so I assumed that you I was getting busy doing what you had to do. I'm right. I wasn't fit to bug you. So now you, you and your panties wadded up because I didn't say good morning first. <laughs> you haven't done anything for me to want to warrant reaching out to you like that yet. Like you're make yeah. you're trying to make me chase you. I'm giving yeah, you time of day. And then when I say like Period. traditional woman, like what what traditional woman are you talking about? Because again, these are That's... mostly black men. And so if you're talking about traditional woman, you definitely not basing that on black women because at least for America, we was out in the cotton fields picking cotton Thank and everything you. and having babies all at the same time. So we've been doing this. So what traditional woman are you referring to? Because we didn't get to sit right. in the house and be pretty. We were working too, even if we weren't in the factory, even after you know, uh, you know, chattel slavery ended. We were still taking care of, you know, washing their clothes and all. We were still working. We've been working. So what right. we were, we were are you referring y'all. to? And then the other part, which we have all talked about, you know, traditional woman. Oh, my grandma, my grandma. Listen, your grandma or my grandma are these older women from church and stuff that I would be talking to. You know what they would tell me? Don't you marry that man? You go live your life. You will get your education. You go travel. You go do this. I mm-hmm. wish I hadn't have done this. I wish I hadn't right. done that. So we you are single until result. you marry. Right. We are now exactly. the result of advice that we've taken from these traditional women that y'all so called hold up or you know hold so high. I think they were just so happy. They were miserable a lot of times. Not that everybody right. was, obviously, but you know that's that's the lessons I was getting from older men. My mom, 
Don't you marry him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a baby. Don't, don't, don't marry do him. Because you're going to get caught up just having babies. Yep. Go live your life. That was from my own mother with mm -hmm. me being pregnant. <laughs> Telling me not <laughs> don't to marry do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Right. So, yeah, I'm the result of advice that I got from the traditional woman that y'all claim that we are not. Yeah, no, we're not. Because they, they may have been in some ways. Yes. And for Black women, it's completely different. But it's just it's just not that. So like, and they want yeah. traditional women talking about something. We can pay half the bills, and no tradition says if you coming in here, you paying all these bills, and then all, you all of the women. You not gonna we not gonna do we not gonna go half and then still be expected to do the traditional home stuff while no. you get to sit there and drink a beer with your hand in your pants. Absolutely not, because if we both work in eight hours and we both washing these dishes, if we both work in eight plus hours a day making money, paying half of everything, then yeah, we both we doing our own laundry. You got mm -hmm. your laundry basket, I got mine. You know, who's paying for what? Half of the, you know, yeah. half the light bill coming. You know, you brush half the cap. I br I'll brush the other half. Like, it, there's no, there's no way. Don't different. make the cat suffer right. now. <laughs> right. <laughs> there, like, like, but no, but there's such a difference. I what's going on. Right. Oh, like, traditional it. roles are not, they don't apply anymore. You know, yeah, they don't. women, and you know, we can support like, ourselves uh, now. So, yeah. Even that with the roles you know, have to adjust. Yeah, and even with you know the way things are costing these days, even if you want to be traditional, a lot of times you can't afford it. Quite frankly, like stuff is expensive. The way Rent these, is expensive. Yeah, the way these bills, food and, is expensive. And is set up. Cars, car insurance, your phone. Now the phones have become so vital, you can't really go without a phone. Like a lot of times, one. unless you're you know making a certain uh, amount of money. Tradition is just not even an option, even if you wanted to. So we're going to have to refigure, reconfigure this yeah. dynamic and figure out what works, you know, for us. Because all this talk I've been hearing lately is just like, at this point, I don't, I don't even bother to even try to listen to all of it, even with some of the people that I actually like listening to. Even them sometimes, I'm like, the, the reality is don't nobody know what they're talking about. Like for real. No, no one, no one knows, knows what, what they're talking about. No one knows what to do. <laughs> That's been my own like, I make my own like, money. You know what? Like, literally, all of us are just figuring out day by day. None of us have the yeah. actual answer that you can say for sure yeah. this works 100% of the time. None of us do. So, figure out what y'all dynamic is and keep it moving. Yeah. And don't be mad at other that's people when they, they don't fit in what you're doing. What they're doing that works for them. Right. Yeah. right. That tradition going to mess all of us, is messing all of us up because now we don't need men to take care of us. We don't need men to pay for our bills and for the like the the physical, you know, financial stuff like that anymore. But that dynamic, we still need men. Men still need women, but the dynamic shifts from, you know, money making and home care to the emotional spiritual energetic need mm -hmm. now we still need you know all sides still need each other you still need partnership but the you there's a lot less dependency now on the money part of it whereas a lot of women had to get married or they were never going to be able to make enough money to provide for themselves even if they did work because that's you couldn't have your own checking account you can't have anything we literally mm -hmm. needed a man to do certain things and that's not the case anymore. So now you get women that's all out of balance. That's mm -hmm. like, oh, I don't need no man. I take care of myself. That's not true. And then you get men that's like, these women don't want to do shit. No, you need to adjust and know that you need, you are more than the money you can provide. You right. now have to dig deeper and give us the emotional and mental support in lieu of not necessarily needing to have that material support anymore. Like there's, yeah. you just have to. Everybody has to adjust, and we're just not adjusting. We're all like mad at each other. But it's yeah, that's yeah, that's what it seems like. Everybody's fighting to be right, which yeah. you know just leads to nothing. Just a bunch nothing, of nothing because there is no back. right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. Just do what works best for you. Ooh, we done got into that, y'all. We supposed to say that for next time, but it's all good though. No. Oh, it's, it's all, all good. good. I I, I knew it's all right. I know this. <laughs> but, welcome back. <laughs> yes, welcome back. We welcome are back. back. We are talking and running our mouths. Um, but I think we can kind of you know close it out a little bit here. Um, but yeah, it's been you know a, a good few months. Not perfect, at least my for me, one hundred percent perfect. How I want things yeah. to be one hundred percent of the time. But for me, you know. Life is good. I, I really can't complain. Even when it comes to the romance. Like, I talk stuff and, you know, whatever. But 
I feel really good. Really like good. I yes. really do. I feel yeah. good. Same. It's, 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 a good life, it's a good I space. Good. Happy. Yeah, I so feel hopeful, happy, happy joyous. Yeah. Doors are opening, and it's yes. focus focus on the stuff that you can control, and focus on the stuff that does bring you joy. And when you do that, and let all the other stuff go, you do you find like that alignment you just go like yeah, we're just, talking just about that we are in a season of just like alignment yes and everything is just happening just even without thinking about it or like I told y'all even the smallest the little thing just oh like oh that would be nice and then boom like it happens like oh oh okay yes yes <laughs> you know I was yeah, you know, I've become a big crybaby. I always been a crybaby, but I had you know, stiffened up a lot. But I become a big crybaby. I was in my room crying. Like, oh my god, this happened! I didn't expect it. It was so good. My children are happy and healthy. Girl, I cried all the time. <laughs> but only y'all know that about me. Well, now the world, world wide web. Yeah, you know? and it's okay. Tears but, are okay. That's good. Tears, Tears are, are healthy. Okay. Yes. Tears are healthy. Yes, yes, yes. Tears are good. So any last words, last yeah. comments, Felicia? Oh, Lord. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> to me, oh, it's nine o'clock. I know you're ready to go to bed. Well, I've, I've been up early since early and I've worked nine hours today. Oh. So yeah, you know, it's, it's been, it's been wonderful. I, I miss doing this with you guys. I enjoy having, you know, this dialogue. So it feels good, but yes. Alicia is. She's tired. Not tired. 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 Like the detergent. Tired. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, oh, Tori, last words, last comments. Yeah. Oh, um, something I say in my yoga class. Every class, you <laughs> yoga. That's it. Tori got her yoga certification, y'all. She's like, oh yeah. yeah. So I I'm a yoga teacher. I specifically teach Hot 26 and 2, and my class is bomb. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm out here in Tampa. It's good stuff. But something I say every class, and I've been really trying to incorporate, is you can't get back a past breath, and you can't breathe a breath that hasn't happened yet. The only breath that matters is the one that's in your control that's happening right now. So, you know, know that the future breath is coming learn from that past breath maybe if you hiccup or burp or something but like breathe your current breath be present like stay in the moment because that's what's happening you know don't miss what's happening waiting on something to come like you can't find happiness as is you won't find it right so. you'll be forever searching so yeah yeah well that was a good last word last comment all right y'all we um are back officially uh yeah. don't forget our instagram is nija knows in a i j a it wait how do you spell it oh 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 see you tired Girl, too? Look, i was going too late <laughs> i'm tired too much n-a-i-j-a Nose, yeah, <laughs> nose, and K N O. That's where I got stopped. Was like, wait, no, yeah. not no, like with K N O W S. Girl, look. Ooh, okay, <laughs> it's been an extremely long day. I've been up. We back, y'all. We back. We back. <laughs> we're we're spelling, but we back. <laughs> Instagram. Uh, you can pull us up on YouTube. Pandora. We on Amazon. We on Apple Music. Spotify. We on Google, We on Spotify. We sell it everywhere so make sure you follow like share subscribe all that good stuff we got more content i'm gonna get better with that i promise i am and we got more episodes coming up in the few uh over the year over the year we are back we are back we are back all right y'all all right bye everybody <laughs>